popping what's popping what's popping y'all today's topic is going to be her actions will tell you way more than her words will tell you bro as far as the patreon go bro so all of y'all i'm not gonna do consultations anymore i'm gonna take all of you guys's consultations and all of you guys's paragraphs that you write me and i'm going to answer them in video form and i'm gonna do that on the patreon because i feel like I can help a bunch of guys with a bunch of these situations. So if y'all want to send me that, A, join the Patreon, B, send me y'all situations, and I'll answer them in video form over there on the Patreon. I still got one more to do on the YouTube channel, so that's coming. That being said, I hate vid all of these long intros, so let me just get straight to the point, bro. These women will literally say one thing, and they'll do the complete opposite of the thing that they just said. Which implies that they are completely okay with lying to your face. Not just my face, your face. They are completely okay with just lying to you. Bro, you have to start watching what they do and stop watching what they say because that's how you end up in these situations. Oh, she said she loved me, Kaden. She told me I was the best ever. She told me I was the only dude. But then she turned around and treat you like you not. But then she turned around and treat you like a second option or not the priority or she turn around and she want to make your life miserable or want to make your life worse or harder or doesn't want to put forth the effort that she needs to put forth even though she say oh i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna do that to make your life better i bring stability i bring the table or whatever they say nowadays you know what i mean like they say all of these things and yet they do the complete opposite and you want to know why they do the complete opposite because it does not serve them and there is no consequence because you are too scared to do what needs to be done. There's no consequence to them doing whatever they want to do anyway. They know that they can whisper sweet nothings in your ear and you're going to fall for it. Because guess what? The reality is most of you guys, y'all fall for it. Y'all fall for whatever she say, whatever she tell you. Y'all fall for whatever going on. And she think that she can manipulate the situation into being what she wanted to be because all she got to do is say sweet things to you bro what happened to the days when there was women fell in love with from what they hear and men fall in love from what they see nowadays it's men falling in love with what they hear and i don't understand what's going on my boy i literally saw a situation where my man's preference prefaced my bad well my man's prefaced hey look i'm explaining this for this reason this is not to make a comparison etc and she was like okay i understand and then my man's went on to explain it and she still made an overreaction out of it after promising she wouldn't make an overreaction out of it what does that tell me she don't give a shit about what she say to you she don't give a shit about what she promised you she don't give a shit about none of the things y'all said during your relationship when she said oh i would never leave you for blah 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 and i would never do this to you and i would never do that and i would never be this kind of way to you she does not care because if her actions are showing you as a man that she's a fucking duck and she quacking then believe she a duck and stop thinking she anything other than what she's showing you my boy but the problem is too many guys y'all you project your own attraction on her you project your own attraction so you think this woman is the best thing since sliced bread and so because you think she the best thing since sliced bread because you feel like she the best thing since sliced bread you look for reasons why she is people buy with emotions and so you buying her bullshit with your emotions instead of doing what needs to be done looking at the situation realistically and then walking away from it if it does not serve you i will continue to preach walk away from situations that do not serve you because at the end of the day you as a man your value is always going to take a hit bro it ha you have nothing to gain by staying in situations that don't serve you, you have nothing to gain. Your value is just going to take a hit. Your respect is going to take a hit. And I always say over here, if you don't know, now you know, a woman can't love you truly, bro, if she don't respect you. If she can't give you the respect that you deserve, she don't love you, bro. She cannot love you. Because men, we will always care more about respect than we will care about love, bro. We will always do that. 
And see, the reality is when you allowing her to get away with these things that she get away with, talk to you any kind of way, when you allow a woman to just have her way with you, in essence, then you you making her the man, bro. It's supposed to be the man's job to go penetrate, bro. It's supposed to be the man's job to have his way with a woman. And I don't mean that in a weird way, bro, but I, I just mean that in a masculine, feminine energy type of way, bro. So you have to understand that you're not watching for what she say. You're not watching for why she said it because it don't matter. These women, like, for lack of a better word, like, she full of shit. They full of shit. When they talk, they full of shit. It's why you can be literally speaking clear, plain English to her, and she's going to put what she thinks you mean there, and that's what it's going to mean. It's not going to mean nothing else. You could be like, hey, I think that when you walk on the ground, you can't levitate. And she heard, well, you think you get mad at me because you think I levitate. And guess what? The rest of the argument is going to be about you getting mad at her because you think she levitate. And that's what's going to happen because at the end of the day, these women gaslight. They will gaslight you and they will always gaslight you. And they will gaslight to make the situation bend to their will and bend to make them seem like they aren't wrong or where they don't have to take accountability or they not, they not in a space where they, they're to blame. And that's always going to be the case. So you cannot listen to her words. You cannot trust her words. Her words mean nothing. They are a reflection of a temporary emotion, bro. And those temporary emotions mean absolutely nothing when her emotions can change that quickly, bro. So when she's saying she love you and you the best thing ever since sliced bread, when she's saying she hates you and you, you, you the biggest piece of shit on the planet, bro, it doesn't fucking matter. Like, none of it matters. All that matters is her consistent action, bro. The consistent thing she showed you in her actions. If she left you, that's a consistent action, bro. She left you. That's permanent. Or it could be permanent. So she left you. So what does that tell you? Her actions say that she don't really value you, bro. If she she nagging you all the time, she being non-compliant, what does her action say? Her actions say she ain't showing you the respect you deserve as a man. If she be in any other way other than compliant and easy to be around and easy to be with, etc., her actions is saying that there is something wrong there. And you have to be aware of what her action is saying because her actions are going to tell you everything you need to know as a man, bro. It's going to tell you how you need to move. And it's up to you as a man to move appropriately. This is why we follow her actions and we do not get caught up in her words because her whispering sweet nothings in your ear mean nothing, bro. Don't fall for it. Every time a dude fall for this, bro, every single time a dude fall for this, listening to her words, getting so caught up in the things she say to him and all of that, he regrets it. Every time he, but she promised me this and we talked about this and we, we had an emotional bonding conversation over this, he regrets it because she literally does the opposite. She goes back and do the opposite, literally. Bro, you have to stop. It's up to you to make the right decision. It's up to you to lead your boat to shore, bro. It's up to you. It's on you. So hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and let's get it together, bro. It's your boy K in the rake, man. I'm going to make this one quick, man. I'm about to.